Davis runner Amanda Mergert will be competing against some of the best runners in the country this week at the U.S. Outdoor Track and Field Championships at Hornet Stadium. And as KCRA 3 Sports Director Del Rogers caught up with the 1500 meter runner while training for this week's premier event, he asked her how is she getting ready. If her past has any bearing on her future, Amanda Murgart should qualify for the USA Outdoor Track and Field Championships. Last year at Nationals, Amanda finished seventh in the 1500 meters. Then at the NCAA Outdoor Championships, she placed third. Plus, she finished fifth in the mile at the NCAA Indoor Championships. But despite all of that success, Amanda decided to train at UC Davis, not in Utah, where she competed in college. The one thing I was looking for when um, moving up to the next level was I really wanted training partners. I really wanted people that I could train with, and this is like um, a challenging like lifestyle, so I wanted to be around other people who have maybe had experience um, running at this level for longer and people that I could run with every day. Altitude training has always been the preferred way of training in most sports. But in the case of Amanda Murgard, her training partners were more important than training at a higher altitude. And then I think for her, the attraction of being able to come and train around athletes that are similarly minded and similarly uh, able was something that was a, a, a strong consideration for her in, in relocating California. This University of Utah grad is a five-time All-American from Shelby Township, Michigan. But for the summer, Sacramento is her new hometown. My family is coming out here, and I mean, this is the town that I'm new to, so I kind of want to like be like, hey, I'm here, and um, I'm going to represent this city really well. Del Rogers, KSRA 3 News. And in case you're interested, the USA Outdoor Track and Field Championships kick off Wednesday at the state capitol. That's where the shot put events will be held at a specially designed pit outside the steps of the capitol. So qualifying for the men and women will be held between 11 a.m. and 1 p.m., followed by the finals from 4 to 6. And events will then move to Hornet Stadium, and we'll have a complete schedule at KCRA.com. Just look it up in our sports segment.